Do you like cupcakes? Do you like lemon cupcakes? Do you like lime cupcakes? Well, today we are making lemon and lime cupcakes. Yeah, hey yeah. guys, thank you so much Good. for tuning in today. I am so happy you're here. Yes. Is y'all ready? Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is preheat in our oven at 350 degrees. I've already lined our cupcake pans with these beautiful yellow cupcake holders. We're gonna be making about 30 cupcakes. Today, I'm gonna be using the Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Lemon Supreme Cake Mix. Got it at Walmart for $1.46. This is the best lemon cake mix. In our medium sized glass bowl, we're gonna add the entire cake mix. Smells good already and I haven't even added anything to it. This is the best lemon cake mix. I love lemon cake and I love lime cake. When I think about lemon cake, I can remember my mother used to make lemon cake. Every Sunday, we would have lemon cake. It was so moist and delicious. I have sweet memories of lemon cake. Oh yes. At this time, I'm gonna be adding in about a cup and a half of 7-Up. You could use Sprite or you could use Mountain Dew. There is no way you could be mad and eat lemon cake at the same time. If you're having a bad day, go get you a slice of or two lemon cake. I guarantee you'll feel better. I lost my beater, guys. I only got one. That's why you only see one leg. And it's doing the job. We're going to combine all our ingredients together. And once we get that combined, this smells so amazing. We're going to use our spatula to scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure there's no flour mixture exposed. We're just going to keep stirring. We're going to scrape the bottom of the bowl also to make sure there's no flour peeking through. This is very important, guys. The flour does have a tendency to hide at the bottom of the bowl. This is the part right here where you take the taste test. I could probably eat this whole bowl by myself. At this time, we're going to separate the mixture in half. About half of the mixture for the lemon and about half of the mixture for the lime. We added one dot of green food coloring. We're going to mix that very well until there are no streaks in the mixture. We can also use this recipe for St. Patrick's Day. Just add more green food coloring for the darker green for St. Patrick's Day. I love lime green. It's such a beautiful color. Doesn't this look so pretty, guys? So beautiful. Looks good already. Now, you know we begin to eat with our eyes even before we taste it. I can hardly wait on this. We're going to start filling our baking cups about halfway to a third up. I'm going to be using a large ice cream scooper. Oh my God, I feel so blessed to be able to make cupcakes because I love cupcakes. When was the last time you had a cupcake? What is your favorite cupcake? Do you like nuts in your cupcakes? You guys could talk to me in the comments. Meet me downstairs. Don't be shy. Talk to me. Okay, we got all our cupcake liners filled up. Remember, we're making 30 cupcakes. That's a lot of cupcakes. We're going to bake these in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. While our cupcakes are baking, we're going to use the lemon and limes to make our syrup for the cupcakes. To get the most juice out of our lemons and limes, we're going to put it in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds. We're going to always use fresh lemons or limes. Fresh only. We're going to use this magic lemon juicer to extract juice from the lemons and the lime. It has holes at the bottom. It has hinges to hold it together. And we're just going to press down until all that delicious juice comes out. So easy. I always keep lemons in my home because there are multiple benefits of fresh lemon. It lowers blood pressure. It treats respiratory infections. It serves as a skin lightener, removes dark spots. It treats acne. It reduces gray hair. It helps with digestion. It gets rid of stomach pains, abdominal cramps, bloating. I mean, multiple, multiple, multiple benefits of fresh lemon. I love lemon, such an incredible fruit. We're gonna add one fourth cup of white granulated sugar to our fresh lemon juice. The smell is incredible. I am a smell freak. If you guys don't remember, I everything around me must smell delicious, fresh. We're just gonna go ahead and mix that a little bit until we put it on the fire. 
Okay guys, it's time to make our syrup for the cupcakes. You see how hot that fire is? We have it on medium. We're gonna be using a medium sized saucepan. We're gonna grab our lemon drizzle. We're gonna pour that drizzle in our saucepan very slowly because we don't want it to splash. We don't want to get burned. Be careful guys. Now we don't want our drizzle to boil. We just want our sugar to dissolve and it's going to become a shiny syrup. So we're just going to constantly shake the pan. I love the scent of lemon. I use the lemon peelings in my garbage disposal to keep my garbage disposal smelling fresh. Our syrup is done and our cupcakes are done. Aren't they beautiful? And wasn't that quick? Perfect timing. I picked up these bamboo skewers at Walmart for 97 cents. You get a hundred. I'm going to be using the skewers to poke holes in the cupcakes so that when we pour the drizzle over the cupcake, it's going to saturate the entire cupcake. Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, I have a special pour cup for drizzle so that I won't pour too much. And I could not find that special cup. So I am pouring too much, I'm going to tell you, and I already know. We want to continue to pour the drizzle over every single cupcake. Do not leave a cupcake out. I already ate one cupcake, and it was delicious. I'm going to be using a little bit of powdered sugar as our frosting, as our topping for the cupcake. But you can use whatever you want. You can use frosting. You can use nuts. You can use a slice of lemon twisted. Anything you want. Add it on top of your cupcakes. We're going to add our powdered sugar on top of the cupcakes. We're going to sprinkle it all over. Looks like snow. Like it's snowing. And I didn't want to add a heavy frosting because I figured the drizzle was sweet enough that it did not need frosting. And you really don't have to add frosting because it's sweet enough. I'm going to tell you. This is the time of year where we're going to have cookouts, family reunions, weddings, baby showers, picnics, because the weather is getting extremely warm. I wanted to share these cupcake holders with you guys because when you're making the cupcakes, you have to have something to carry them in, and these are perfect. Do you hear me? I got these at uh, Dollar Tree for $1.25 each, and they're very sturdy. The handle, they have a handle, they have a lock, and you want to protect your cupcakes from flies bugs, even leaves that fall off trees, anything that's going to be outdoors that you want to protect the cupcake from. So I wanted to share these with you. I think they are very neat and I've used them. They worked very well. So go get you some. I have 30 cupcakes and I have I bought four. So thank you guys for watching. I love you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your comment. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.